Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I get you all. My name is Samuel Okoyacha, reaching you from the land of the rising sun. I want to bring you uh, the weekly analysis as I do all, all the time. Uh, based on advanced method of Elliot wave analysis, that's what I teach, that's what I trade with. Remember, this is for my own view of the market. Not a guarantee that it must happen the way I show you because nobody controls the market. We are trying to predict the, the future of what has happened in the past. That's the, the, the knowledge we have, that's the knowledge we pass. For mentorship and learning, contact me with the, the links you can see here and this phone number. The phone number is on WhatsApp. The phone number is on Telegram as well. This is my personal link on WhatsApp. Okay, sorry, on Telegram. This is uh, the, the free channel on Telegram. You join it, you share chats, you, you discuss and do many things for free. You only pay a little money, $500, no time limit. You learn at your pace. If you're a fast learner, fine. If you're a slow learner, fine. Once you pay your money, you relax and learn. Okay, so let, let's go into the business of the day. We, are, we start with, with DXY as we do all the time. DXY as we do all the time. Uh, what's happening on this one? DXY, uh, we, my bias have not changed. I, I look at it as A, B, C, so but the UFC is not over. Now, what matters now, when are we going to get this drop? Is the drop started or is about to start? So maybe when we go lower, we can see that. Okay, if if, if we go lower, we can see that last week, I expected the, the market to come to this zone before going down. But it seems it will have a kind of truncate, but not yet guaranteed. The market is not, uh, the market is, is somehow moving in a funny way this time around. So for this reason, I will also show you one hour to make you clearer. I, I don't normally show one hour on the chart. So now with this one hour, uh, you, you can see that we, we already broken the eternal wave four, which means this is wave one and this is wave two. But the, the 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 problem with this very the problem with this is that it made one two three four five. This is the problem. So and the wave five can make an A B C. It can make this can be an A B. Then it make another move up. Then this will now make it an expanding flat as wave four. That is wave four will be here. This wave four. If you somewhere here and it go up again, so it's somehow complex. Now, my advice on this is that if you have to trade this, you have to be careful. And uh, your stop loss to trade this, your, your stop loss will be to trade it, your stop loss will be. At 106.03. Now, you may just as I what I explained or what I want may not happen. It may not happen. So, but such things do happen because it didn't get to my target. If it had got to the, the, the target, I, 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 I would be I would bother you and try to expect it, it can still go up. So what about that is that if the market didn't go up and break this zone. Let me show you. If it, if it didn't go up again and break this zone, they know that it won't go up again. But as long as this zone is still intact, it can do this and go up. Okay, so if you are trading it, maybe if, if you enter by here, this can, this can be wave two. But wave two it doesn't be five waves. But sometimes it can be five waves. I have seen five waves as wave two, wave four, wave B many times. But that, that, that's not the standard. So if, if, if it must happen, maybe you trade it and stop loss will be here 
because you can still go up before going down. Now, what you're gonna do is to manage your your risk. Your risk. Money, money management comes in. You reduce your loss size to avoid, so that if it begin to go up, it won't hurt your account. Okay, I think I, I have what I have put the time here, so other ones will be faster. So let's go to Euro USD. Euro USD. It seems to uh, not similar situation anyway, but Euro USD seems to be easier to read than than BSY. So Euro USD. Uh, it made as an expanding flat, expanding triangle. I mean to say, so it looks clear to me that that it is go going down. So once the market, once the market uh breaks this. Five waves, you can see one, two, three, four, five. It's clear. So if it breaks this five wave, it will go down. But I prefer to buy from this place than to sell. You know, because even if I sell, so stop loss will be here. So the risk reward doesn't make sense to me. So I will have patience, let it complete. Then I can now buy. Then if you are a day trader or a scalper, you can still sell it from this zone right now but confirmation level is here you can see this from here stop loss will be here then when it goes below this place you move, you move your stops so trading is simple when you know the structures usd card I show you the for the daily last week. I will to show you every day, but just to remind you that I am still looking for the down move. So either it go up a bit before going down, or it will go down for this zone. So nothing more, nothing more to to explain. If you are buying it, know that the buying is temporary. The real deal is selling. So I, I'm looking. Um, I want you to. I want to see it. Give me this type of move. This move up before I now sell, because here looks corrective in nature. So something like this is what I'm looking at. This, this, then this before this. But if it goes below this zone, maybe. It goes below this zone, I will sell from here. Now, buying is the bigger wave, but uh, the selling still have much to offer. So that's why I'm looking for sell. I, I like to sell the bigger or buy the bigger. Okay, so the selling is still much in vogue. <clears throat> USD chef. USD chef. The selling, I see people sell. I can I will stop talking about selling if the market breaks this zone. You see the invalidation. If it goes, if it goes above here, I begin to look for buy. But for now, I'm I'm looking for sell. I've 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 already entered the sell yesterday. Oh yes, I entered the sell when the price is here. From one hour, I see set up here and I sell. So hopefully it will break this cell level and begin to drop. Pants USD. Pants USD. Pants USD is not uh just a to remind you that I am looking for sell because on daily I have clear pattern that shows it to be sell, but not a must. And secondly, there's this very level. I expected this to play out. Let me show you what I expected to play out. I put this uh A, B, C to play out, but it had no strength to go up. It's always show sign of selling, sign of selling. When this broke, I thought it would go down from here. It make this type of move again. 
when it breaks again, it will surely go down this time. But if it didn't break this zone, it can still do this, do this before selling. So now why am I showing you this? If you will trade this to avoid the losing, because, because of your money management, you better go to daily to see where your stop loss should be. So you can see stop loss should be at this zone, 1.3134. You should be an ID stop loss because I look at this as A, this as B, then C will happen. Unless this is wrong, then to go to the computer, I can count this one, two, three, four, five. So I don't know any other way to count it, if not this one, two, three, four, five. So this A, B, this is what I'm looking for. So now I, I am expecting a big drop, maybe 1.18, 1.16, 1.14. 1 so maybe it may delay before it happens, but that's what we I'm looking, what I'm look, looking at. AUD USD, you see what we have here. This daily, with, this with one, this is correction. This is another with one. Then with two is happening here. So now, when is it over? Is this still developing? You can see we, we have a little problem on this because uh, this, this A, B, C didn't get to our target. Our target is somewhere here. So and this move seems to be corrective in nature. And sometimes you think it's correcting, it's beginning to go. So now the buying the buying level is here. But you know this is far. This is one of the reasons I said you should enter my class and I, I will teach you something because here you can go down to one hour, 15 minutes and get by set up. But I I can't be, be, be explain this here because, because of time. Okay, so this is what I'm expecting. But if it, if this will not happen, I will know from what is happening here. But it's too early to say whether it will happen or not. Standard, uh, uh, this is what I'm looking for. Then either this or it becomes uh, W, then we get A, B, C again, X, then why before buying? First of all, even if it, it make an WXY, this is a very big move. I will trade this. It's a very big move. Trade this again and trade this. Okay. So let's move to the next one. Use the USD. Use the USD. What do we have here? Similar situation. But the USD gave us a correct, it get our target, it, it get our our uh, standard zone for reversal. But you can see there's no sharp move. Reversal will always be sharp. No sharp move. That's why I am suspecting that we're gonna have WXY. Both on uh both on Both on uh, X, Y. So if 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 it happened on using the USD, surely AUD USD will also have W X Y. So this is what I'm expecting to happen before we begin to buy again. Okay, so let's move. JB two two five. For a long time, I'm I'm waiting for. I wrote you for correction to, to start. It seems to have started. Let me even skip one hour. So looking at one hour, we can see is a dropping gradually. It's likely making one, two, three, four, five. What we call leading diagonal. So if it's making leading diagonal like one, two, three, four, five, then it will do A, B, C and drop again. So uh, I think this is what we are going to get. But for now, it's not good to sell the first wave of correction because you cannot be sure whether it will do this or it will do this. But when the first wave 
finish it. So you can now be at least 80 minutes so that if you do the second phase. So that's all we have for the V25. Let's go to Yen Pays. Yen Pays, you need to be careful on Yen Pays. The reason is that uh, it's not moving as expected. Okay, this is what I'm looking for on Euro Yen. This is what I'm looking for. But it keeps delaying, delaying, and delaying. So now, and sometimes when it, when it, it begins to delay, you wake up one day, you see this begin to happen. This type of move begin to happen. So I would like to, after checking all this, waiting for all this, and I move the big move. I I, I miss the, the move, big move. No, I want to miss the big move. So what you're gonna do is uh, you begin to watch carefully because either we get this before this or we get a little move like this then it, it will break so but i don't think it will begin to go up and give us a new high it's possible but maybe 10 percent possibility that it will happen but this is what i'm looking for this will be might be here before it will begin to drop because this is the correct pattern one, two, three, four, five. I don't know how else to check it. So now it's left for you to be watching when it's beginning to drop so that you, you don't miss it. USDPY. USDPY, the same situation. I'm looking for it to drop or maybe. You can see one, two, three, four, five. Either this wave four is here, and and it has completed. Wave five is here. Then this wave one, the wave two is happening. Or this is wave four. This will happen and it will go down. So I'm, I'm waiting either to sell below here or to look for sell if it comes to this reversal zone. Okay, pounds JPY. Pounds JPY. Pounds JPY is where we have some headache. Not really headache anyway, because it's made a new high. Let me show you then. So it, it made a kind of new high. It broke this uh this particular zone a little. Now, what does that Im uh, imply? Simple. It is so as uh, uh, still looking for sell, no matter what has happened. Now, is either we get A, B, C running flat and go up, or we get A, B, C, expanding flat and go up. Or totally, you, you, we may get the bigger correction that we get down to this zone. But for now, let's focus on, let's focus on this, this A, B, C as running flat. That is, even if it goes higher again, not a good time to buy because it will, it will certainly be either running flat or expanding flat for it to go up. So you need to be careful and focus on one hour. Focus on one hour because that's where we, we will get the sales at top. Focus on one hour. Focus on one hour. That's where we get set up. So I'm looking for set up after this break. I'm looking for Set setup for now. No trade on pounds JPY. Gold. I don't have much to say on gold because the pattern is being so complex. But remember, my bias is that WXY that gold 
is coming down at least below 1900, 1980, 1970, or 1960. That's my bias on gold. But ultimately, we may see gold going up to 1920, 1900, even 1880. But not that, not that the matter for now. Because I don't see the sharp move going down. So it's a kind of complex structure. So after this very move on gold, after this move on gold, I expect this type of A, B, C, then move down. Rather, I'm making something complex. So for this reason, we may not even, uh, this drop, can be the first drop and it drop like this. Or it can fail, it can make this A, B, C. So why, why am I showing you this? This is like we happen. In case this fails, and if you uh, have only this in mind, your stop loss will be here, which is, which is dangerous. So the best thing is do to, so if you want to sell gold, your stop will be here. So that even if it will, it will do this, it won't kill your stop loss. Then here it will sell. So I would even like to see gold here. This way I would like to sell gold. But if, if it doesn't come to this zone, I will still sell, but with a small lot size. But if it comes to this place, I will sell with a big lot size because I'm gonna make big money. Silver, similar thing on silver. No clear, no clear structure. They are just being complex roof here and there. No clear structure. Okay, silver, same situation. Let me show you daily again on silver. So you see how, how daily chart is looking. You can see this is like wave one. A, B, C, wave two. So let me zoom it out. So from down to this here is wave one, W, X, Y, a bigger W, X, Y, or maybe W, S, Y, X, Z. Whichever way. All I say that silver is dropping. This is the minimum target for the dropping to 1.5 to 20.4 to 20 is the minimum target. But ultimately, silver is heading to 20.00, This is where silver is heading. But we have to be skillful and have a trained eye for it to be able to catch the move. Because you don't enter anyhow, you don't move anyhow. You see all this move, you, you need to start, you need to understand what is happening here before you'll be able to trade this. Okay? So I don't know how, what else to do for you than to be willing to teach you all these things with a little money. $500 is no money compared to what people are losing every day in trading. But many people don't want to learn, many think it is easy. They keep blowing the accounts. Anyway, it's a choice. It's a choice. Platinum. Platinum. Uh, nothing to show on platinum because last week I explained that platinum might be going down to 700, 600 price zone. So now, but anyway, there's, there's nothing to explain. Excuse me. This is wave one of the next move. So this is either A, B, C. Then it's go down again. Or this will be W, then A, B, C, X, then either A, B, C, or one, two, three, four, five, before the selling. So it's, it's important you watch 
out for this type of wound. I can only tell you this, but how it will happen and how you will know that what is happening, I can't tell you here. Oh, yeah. Last week, I said, last week, I said that oil that will fall is here, but the will fall might shift to this zone. Now, it has happened exactly how I, I expected it, it to happen. So now, oil have two levels of invalidation. So all you have two two uh, levels of inversion. Here is one, here is two. This can be risky in case of a, a spike. Markets can spike and begin to go down. So I prefer to leave my stop loss here. That to, that to leave it here. Meanwhile, uh, let me show you this. Meanwhile, this one hour, this trend the line have a role to play. Once market comes below this place, it will, it will certainly break this trend line. And if it, if it breaks this trend line, it becomes a, a confirmation for the selling. So that's what I'm trying to figure out. If it comes back to break this zone, it will be a time to sell. For now, no sales at top. No sales at top. Cashing tops and bottom is risky and doesn't deserve it because you may try it 10 times, you'll be lucky two times or three times. And the other eight times is dangerous for your account. NASDAQ, US 100. US 100, what do we have? Uh, the, 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 all the indices are doing a new high. And one thing I don't like, Selling and buying after a new high is because it is dangerous. What am I saying is, remember top, double top, double bottom. They don't, they don't announce when it will you are caught. So that's why it is good to after a new high or a new low, you allow it to give you a pattern. So for me, I will be to look for sell if the market comes to this zone. If it comes to this zone, 18, 18, 6, 0, 0, 19, 0, 0, 0, 0. if it comes to this zone, I begin to look for sell. Then I will see, I will see, look, I, I'm still looking for buy. If, <coughs> if this, if this one I watch chart give me a nice structure, I will buy, but for now, no trade on US 100. Yes, P500, the same thing. I will buy if I get a nice pattern. Then this is possible because why? Let me show you four hours. For a long time, the market is trading within this range, you see? So the, the possibility of doing it again cannot be ruled out, okay? But <clears throat> I will not sell it uh, in assumption that it must happen. No, I don't do that. I'm not about to, it's not about to, for it to do it. So watch out, watch out in one hour and get set up before selling or before buying. You are starting. You are starting. The same thing is still buying, but I cannot buy now because any moment from now, you will surely get this type of move. Okay, so it's, uh, it's good to have patience and the trades and enter at a right time. You know, there's no 
there, there are no need to enter. Maybe you, you enter it here. It do this and do this again before dropping. So you better get set up before you sell or before you buy. That's where you're starting. Uh, put again. Uh, German DAX. German DAX, I expect it to give, okay, let me show you one hour. I expect one more move up. So we so we are seventeen one five eight, seventeen three hundred, seventeen two hundred. We are looking for it to begin to drop. So that's what I can show you now on DAX. Uh, what again? What again? The John, the same situation. I'm looking for it to drop. Uh, buying is not now for the region. I don't look for buying again because they've given us a very big move. And after this move, uh, it's a uh, common sense if you give us this type of move before buying again. Okay, so I'm looking for self setup anyway, maybe below this place or below this place or over time frame, I'm going to get self setup. Okay, having said this, let me add. Bitcoin and the Ethereum. Bitcoin, ah, wave, wave is the best and we remain the best. Some days ago, I pointed out this reversal zone. The market went to eat, reversed. Let me just show you one hour and begin to and go for go to Ethereum. So So what do we what do we what do we expect on Bitcoin? I think the correction the correction might, might not be over. You know, okay, I will give it to four hours. That's where I will show you things I want to show you. So now Bitcoin uh, remember Bitcoin we always do deep correction. So this can be just with W. Then we may get this type of move with X and it will drop maybe 34, 33, 32 before going up. Unless we see a sharp move that we break this zone. If it happens, forget about this. But for now, uh, it is still 50-50. It is we can get something like this. Maybe that six, that seven, that five, and go up. So now, what I'm saying this, uh, it is still 50-50. Bitcoin will, will begin to move from here. Or it can still drop further before going up. So if this sharp move continues, they forget about Bitcoin going down. But I would like to see it above this place. I want to see it above this place. So this is when I begin to look for buy on Bitcoin. If I see it, if I see, if I see it move above this zone, I look for buy, simple. If not, I'm still looking for sell. Okay, uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum. Ethereum, Ethereum and Bitcoin, they're doing the same thing. And this too is the leader of all crypto. Ethereum, Ethereum, Ethereum is even looking Ethereum is even looking more dangerous. We have one, we have two, we have three, A, B, C, we have four, we have five, then A, B, C, another one, two, three, four, five. Wow. Ethereum may surprise us. So. 
N B C. Then remember that fundamentals always play important role in cryptos. So all these things can be ruled out with one one news. One news can come out, people be, people be, will begin to buy. And once once people begin to buy, the price begin to skyrocket. So I'm just giving you my technical point of view. What normally happens when market is normal, where fundamentals is not involved, it can overrule this. If not, this will certainly happen. That's what I can see looking at the structure. Okay. And uh, here you, I think, uh, let me also give you a light coin. Let me give you a light coin before I, and the, the video is uh, lengthy already. But let me give you a light coin. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. Okay, light coin. That coin is also correcting. You can see A, B, C. Maybe we get another A, B, C, then another A, B, C. So market are still correcting. And uh, on this one, until it goes above this zone. Sorry, until it goes above this zone, I will still looking for it to drop. For now, it's dropping until it goes above this zone. Then it can now begin to buy. Okay, that's the end of uh, that's the end of our end of our of our today's analysis. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Join our channels. They are free. You only pay if you if you need mentorship. If not, everything is we are doing is free. We have two, we have two uh two channels on on uh telegram where we share our trade setup for free. One on WhatsApp, what's WhatsApp? I, I only pay I only pay attention on WhatsApp, sorry, on Telegram. WhatsApp, I go there once in a while. Just join Telegram. Then if you wanna learn from me, you contact me. God bless you. Bye.